Well, good afternoon. Uh, this is Governor Greg Abbott. Uh, I'm going to be joined today by Nim Kidd, the Chief of the Texas Division of Emergency Management. Nim, you can come on in. And I want to uh, express my gratitude to all of the hospital CEOs from across the entire state of Texas who are on the line. I think we have CEOs from either every or almost every major hospital system in the state of Texas. Uh, before we begin our discussion uh, with the hospital leaders, uh, let me just say a few things uh, concerning updates. First, I, I realize that we're, we're dealing with a situation uh, that a lot of Texans are extremely concerned about. And we want to make sure that our fellow Texans understand that the state of Texas has been prepared. We continue to be prepared. We are having this meeting today to ensure that we remain ahead of the curve as it concerns pr uh, putting together everything that must be done for us to be able to robustly respond to ensure that your health and safety is going to be fully protected. Now, I also want to make sure that you understand where we are uh, with current information. As of today, uh, Texas has uh, confirmed 64 cases of COVID-19. The cases are spread across 19 counties now. They include Bell, Bear, Brazoria, Collin, Dallas, Denton, El Paso, Fort Bend, Galveston, Gregg, Harris, Hayes, Lavaca, Matagorda, uh, Montgomery, Smith, Tarrant, Travis, and Webb counties. We also now have our first COVID-related death in the state of Texas. Uh, that was uh, the death of a man in his 90s who was residing in Matagorda County. As of this moment, uh, more than 1,250 Texans, to be precise, 1,264 Texans have been tested across the state for COVID-19, and that number will continue to increase dramatically in the coming days. For example, this week, Texas will be receiving 15,000 test kits from FEMA alone. Testing will be conducted in part by FEMA, in part by hospitals, in part by public health authorities, in part by these drive-through facilities that you may see from some private providers, such as it could be uh, CVS could be Walmart, could be other organizations. Uh, my estimation is that by the end of this week, Texas will be capable of uh, testing about 10,000 people per week, with uh, the uh, goal being that that will, number will increase in the coming weeks. To make sure that we in the state of Texas are taking every step possible, to make sure that we're going to be capable of responding to what is going on. Uh, I am, uh, at this moment, activating the Texas National Guard to assist in our response to COVID-19. Now, understand this, and that is, from the very beginning, we have been working in collaboration with General Norris, who is in charge of the Texas National Guard, and that dates back to January. So the National Guard has been involved in this process from the beginning, it's just at this particular point in time, I want to fully activate the National Guard, but no National Guard need to be deployed at this time. We just want to make sure that uh, we have activated them. Uh, they know that they're going to be activated. Uh, the general of the National Guard, General Norris, can be uh, in charge of getting them ready. We do want to exempt from anybody who may be called up first responders or anybody involved uh, in the healthcare profession because they need to be on the front lines of making sure that we are providing all the health care that is needed uh, for those who may uh, contract COVID-19. Uh, with, th with that said, uh, I do want to open up our discussion uh, with, the doc with the, uh, both doctors as well as CEOs of these hospitals in the state of Texas. And we'll be asking the, the cameras to leave the room at this time, and we'll be talking to you shortly. 